Greetings, crafters. Glad you could join us. Tom Creek here with Creek Bank Creations. We have got a fantastic show tonight. Glad you're with us. Tell us where you're from, sign in. Hey, we're going to be doing the spin to win card. That's right. This is one version. If I can get him Santa spin. There he is. Spin and Santa. Spin to win. That's one version of the spin to win card using spin to win die. And we have three stamps that go with it. Uh, Christmas, birthday, and there's one that's called Halloween. But Halloween is just part of the stamp. It's actually, where's that stamp at? Where's it at? Oh, it says, because you're so sweet, you get sweeter every, every year. Only two of the uh, sentiments have anything to do with Halloween, uh, as well as the, the dial on there. But we're going to show you how to do this. It's a lot of fun. We've had this die out for quite some time. Uh, we are with, Creek. I am with Creek Bank Creations, and so is my wife, Julie, as a matter of fact. We're from... <laughs> Perrysville, Indiana, the land of tall corn, and not much more in southwestern Indiana, and we're glad to be with you tonight. We have a line of uh, dies, stamps, adhesives, uh, paper, and uh, tools, all branded under the Creek Bank, Bank Creations label, uh, and uh, I think we've got some really cool stuff. Check us out at www.creekbankcreations.com. Glad to hear from everybody out there as you're getting tuned in. Um, some of the other versions of the spin to win card. We've got the, the Christmas, uh, just for you, just for you, Christmas card. Julie's gonna show you how to make tonight. And then uh, we've got, here's another version. Here is a, got it upside down, Halloween version of spin to win. Here is one where we used the dweedle, spin to win, dweedle, dweedle. Can you say dweedle? I know you could, dweedle. And then uh, here is also a birthday card, spin to win. We're going to show you how to do that spinner, how to make it spin and flick every time tonight. Also, we teased you last week. We showed you our new gnome die, or was that last week, or was that two weeks ago? How long ago was it? It might have been two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago, and we promised you that the, die, uh, the stamps were coming. The stamps has finally come in. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of those. This is the new uh, Autumn Gnome Stamp. Zoom him in there. Kind of cool. Got the little pumpkin down here. Little leaf. The little girl. The little girl gnome. Can't have a little boy gnome without a little girl gnome. Got I wait. Anyway. Uh, and <laughs> here is the Christmas Gnome Stamp. Note the gnome on skis. And... Uh, Christmas gift, and uh, it's not the, about the presents. The walking stick, you know, and it's not about the presents. Our other Christmas stamp, I'll go get it. It says it's not about the presents. Yes, it's about your presents. That's right. And then our new gnome, Merry Christmas. Can you see that? Are you bringing that up close to you? No, that's called gnome sentiments. This is called gnome sentiments. Read the sentiments. I'll read the sentiments. Gnome, one loves you like me. Uh, from our gnome to yours, Merry Christmas, Happy Autumn, there's a gnome, one like you, and you're a friend like no mother, and Happy Nobody Thanksgiving. Nobody tells jokes like Tom Creek. That's right. <laughs> okay, and that's a little sneak preview of those. Have we got those on the website yet? No. 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 They'll be on the website probably in the next couple of days. So be be tuned, stay tuned in for those. We'll have them in Fort Wayne. And so we'll have them at the Fort Wayne show. Wayne. As a matter of fact, speaking of shows, we are going oh, to be hold on, hold on, finish the stamp. Show them the presents presents. Oh, oh this is you had the presents on the other stamp. This is the presents stamp. This is a new one too? That's the new Christmas stamp, but it has the presents on it. And, okay. and I put presents on the other die so you could use the two. Ah, okay. Okay. So here's what that says. Let me read that since it's probably coming in backwards to you from what I see on the camera. It says, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift, 2 Corinthians 9, 15. Also another sentiment, it's not about the presents as in gift. It's about your presence. Uh, best day ever. Merry Christmas. Tis the season... Uh, in bold, and then tis the season in script. All in that one stamp. Uh, also, anyway, as I was going to say, show you, tell you, do you know the dates of those shows in October? Can you run and get those? I'm just going to tell them about the shows in October. 
No? I'll get yeah, to I can. I'm. She's typing. I'm, I'm, yes. Okay, what do you want to know? I want to know the dates of the two shows in October. Okay. We're going to be in Fort Wayne, F.T. Wayne, the 1st of October, I believe. So that... to find out information about that, they can look up Too Much Fun Promotions. Yeah, look up Too Much Fun Promotions to get information about that show. Julie's checking it out right now. Uh, Fort Wayne, it's a very good show. It's at the Fort Wayne Coliseum in uh, Fort, Fort Wayne, Wayne. October 2nd and 3rd. October 2nd and 3rd. Is that a Friday, a Saturday? Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday show uh, in October. And we're going to be in Sevierville, Tennessee. Again, another Too Much Fun Promotions. That's a great show as well. Down there in Dollywood, Gatlinburg area, Pigeon Forge so, kind of place. And uh, Sevierville is where it's going to be. About the crop. He... Oh, and they're going to have a crop all weekend long. So be sure to be able to sign up for that if you're traveling. Uh, he just opened that up. So you want to you want to get that. And what's the date of that show, Mrs. Creek? Oh, baby, baby. That is in mid-October. Getting the date. Do, 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 October do, do, do. Uh, 17th and 18th. Is that a Saturday, Sunday? I, it doesn't say on here. It's October 17th you and You can sign up for 18th. cropping. He's offering three days of scrapbooking. That's right. Three days of scrapbooking and card making cropping at the event. And I'll put... And that, again, is too much fun promotions uh, at uh, the uh, severe... It's called the Smoky Mountain Rubber Stamp and Scrapbook Getaway. So can't wait to see you all there. So that's what we're going to be doing in October. Uh, meanwhile, back at the ranch, we've got a couple of live events planned this week, this this month, uh, and we're going to be doing. Uh, we have a couple this month. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have two with Scrapbook Expo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. I don't have the date on those right now, uh, unless you want to tell me the dates. I mean, I, I don't have any idea. We'll get back to you on the dates on that. It's it's it'll be after our next. It, it'll Tuesday. be awesome. I mean, it's going to be great too. I'm going to do some slim card stuff. I just stuff forgot about it. it. Okay, let's yeah. talk about what we're doing tonight. Okay, tonight. Tonight. All right, we're going tonight. to do the spin to win. And Julie, are you, do you want to tell them about the spin? No, the, I'm just going to let you do it. Okay, let's talk about the bundle special tonight. Okay, has to do with the spin to win. First of all, you're going to get the die, the spin to win die. Check out the die. Okay, it's a $17 die. You're going to get the Merry Christmas spin to win stamp. You're going to get the... Happy Halloween and the you are you get because you're so sweet rubber stamp. You're gonna get a package of slide guides so you can make those spanner span. Span. Can you say span? Span. And you're gonna get the just for you die, which is a two-piece die. Cuts both the shadow as well as the uh, sentiment itself. Julie's gonna show you how to use that. That in total is a $58.95 value that we've got a blend, a, bun, a bundle, a bundle for only $41.99. That's right, only $41.99. That is a $16.96 savings to you. And it's called the Spin to Win Bundle. So with that, Mrs. Creek, are you ready to take it away? I am. Okay, I have a super, super hard trivia question tonight. I mean, this is gonna be hard. It's gonna be so stinking hard. Everybody ought to have a chance to win. Wait, wait, what's the finger up in here? But in case nobody can if answer it. If I wanted to say it out loud, I would have said it out loud. And if, if, if nobody can guess that one, I have a super easy one. So, so if we can't get the super hard one, we'll do the super easy one. One way or another, we're going to give some stuff away tonight. So, uh, in fact, I'm going to give a Sizzix 3D embossing folder away. Uh, and uh, hopefully. Did you call me over? I did. Are you ready? Are you ready? I thought you said you were done. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here, like crafters. See you later. Good night, cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the crafting cowboy. Oh, you know, you get. I him don't in, craft, but that's what they call me. You get, you get him in front of a camera, and it's all over. So I'm really excited about um, using working with Spin to Win tonight. We needed to do something. Um, relatively simple because I have been overwhelmed with preparing for um, the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo event, and I have a massive project we're going to do in the month of October, and um, kind of excited about it. We've never done anything like this before, but our Tuesday night lives in October will all be using the same set of stamp and dies. We're going to do four different cards, and I don't have the samples here. What samples? Um, but it'll be fun. So the train things that we're doing. 
So we're going to be doing a series of cards using the train. We've got one out there. Whoa, whoa, you don't have the actual card. Yeah, I got the one that's in the oh, plastic box. You know what? It's in that sleeve right there. So anyway, we're going to do a whole series of cards. When So what it'll be like is if you have the products, and we'll tell you ahead of time what the products are, um, you'll be able to do four cards, and it'll be like you've taken a class, um, but you will need to purchase the product. So this will be the first one. And we'll do the um, spiral pop up. Whoa! So, um, Whoa. so this is the one first one, one but then one there's three other cards that are um, with the train set, and there's some really creative stuff that happened. Super excited! So like I've been, the mojo was I've been are working, you the mojo was I've been working on that, and we've been working on a print catalog. We have some um, Amish customers have been requesting print catalog. And so literally for the last four days, I've been buried in print catalog, which is crazy. But um, I got part one done, so that's a good thing. And we're ready to do some spin to win tonight. So looks like we've got a really good group here tonight. So um, I just thought it seems like everyone is getting bogged down with the COVID thing again. Like, oh. I guess it's really not just the COVID thing. It's the whole thing. So I just thought it would be good. Um, to share a funny story. Funny. Good laugh. You know, the Bible says Mary Hart is good like medicine. So years ago, I had a friend who invited me to a scrapbooking event. And she said, hey, I, I have this lady who's a creative memories consultant and she's having a crop and you could come and she won't even know who you are. So you could come and scrapbook all weekend and nobody will bother you. It'll be great. And I'm like, you know, I never do that. Let's do that. So she and I get there. There was like um, four of us in our group. She and I get there first and we're there early. Um, so we go in the crop room, we sit down, we start scrapbooking. We had not checked into the hotel yet. And um, later in the afternoon, evening, the other two girls come and they check into the hotel room and then they come down to the crop room and they said, hey, have you guys been in the hotel room? And they're like, no, we said, no, we haven't been. And they said, well, there's a problem in the hotel room. And um, Michelle, my friend, had booked the room. So I said, well, I'm going to go back and get, take care of my stuff. So do you want me to say something to the desk clerk? She said, sure. So I go back to the room and my lips were, um, they were burning really bad. Like I had chapped lips and you know how they, I don't know about you, but for me, if I get really bad lips, chapped lips, they burn on that outside edge way up here and way down here. So my mother had given me some chapstick for Christmas. Got my chapstick out and I like did this. Covered all my lips, got everything all covered. <laughs> Found out what the problem was in the hotel room, went down to the front desk. I'm standing <laughs> at the front desk and um, I see the guy in the office over there on the right <laughs> and he's ignoring me. <laughs> and so I stand there politely and I wait and I wait and I wait and he every once in a while looks up and then looks down and so finally I lean over the counter and I say hey would you like to come out here and wait on me <laughs> <laughs> and he says sure so he comes up to the desk and I said hey I, I just checked into my room and there's a problem with my room and he says, uh, like, he does like this. <laughs> really? What's the problem with your room? And I'm starting to get aggravated now because he's ignoring me and then he's acting just plain weird. So I said, um, well, the, the room isn't clean. And he said, mind you, he's doing this. He pulls back further. And what's the problem with the room? And that, that was it. I was done. I smacked my hand down on the counter and I leaned up over the counter and I said, there's a pubic hair on the toilet. Do you think you can clean it? And he said, he's like this. We'll be happy to take care of that. And I was so aggravated, went storming off when it, cause he was just like rude, just rude, just like be nice. I go back in the crop room. I walk in and my girlfriend looks at me 
she takes one look at me and she starts busting out laughing. Now, mind you, now there's like 20 people on the string of tables now, like, cause all the people came in and when every, when she starts laughing, they all look up at me and they all start laughing. <laughs> yes. What my mother failed to tell me was that this lip gloss that appeared to be clear was actually not clear. Yeah, it was chapstick. It was chapstick. Yes. But it was bright red and my whole entire face was covered it was kind of like having a, with lipstick it was kind of like having an argument with ronald mcdonald wasn't it? it was <laughs> like having yes i'm sure the de i'm sure the desk clerk was like who is the drunk at the front desk who wants to talk to me about so that's your laugh for the day whenever you get um lip gloss or chapstick Make sure you understand how it really works. This stuff was from Avon. I kid you not. It went on clear and it turned red. I threw it away after that. Made a total fool out of myself. So there you go. Oh, there's Michelle. Michelle came and I'm, I'm telling the Michelle story. So that's hilarious, Michelle. Um, I, Michelle, I told the ladies, sometimes you just need to laugh. So it was good to tell a funny story about a time when I made a total fool out of myself. Out of myself. You said you were a clown. Too. I was a total, total clown. Total. YouTube is weird tonight. It kicked me off twice, but I couldn't get. Okay, well, I. How does the picture look? <laughs> oh. Um, so Michelle's commenting about the chapstick story. So they're saying that some people are having trouble um, getting on and off. So yes, yeah, Sarah, you know what? Sometimes you need to laugh. And I just want to encourage all of you guys, if you're getting in a rut with all of this, like go find a comedian online to listen to, find something funny, get a break in your routine. I think um, some people are, um, the monotony of all this is, is getting to some people and um, not getting out and making connections. Is, it's just a real bummer. So Listen, we are responsible to take care of our mental health along with um, our, the rest of our body. So don't forget about your mental health and take time to laugh and get some fresh air. And uh, so you can keep going because someday this crazy world, um, all this stuff will be over and we'll be back to normal again. Hey, so I think we've got fantastic video tonight as a result of the change in the Well, there's some people are having trouble logging well, on and stuff. So. Logging on, but logging on is yeah. our, our, our broadcast, our picture. Is Mr. Creek has been everything. working here at the shop and got us a new... Router set up. Something. And it appears that things are working better. So At least from our broadcast standpoint. Yes. So the next time you're at a hotel and you're aggravated at the desk clerk, just be careful how you behave because, <laughs> because you never know. All right, so shall we make a spinner card? Um, this is our, uh, did you spin it for them? I did. I did. We're, we're gonna make a, a spin to win card. This has been around for a while, I bet tonight I needed something easy and go to, so it's where we went. I'm trying to work my way back through older products when we can, because I know some of you own these things already. And so doing a little uh, live with them gives you a jump start and get you going. Mm -hmm. So um, a little tutorial, yes. Um, so when you buy the basic die, this is the, what the die package looks like. In the die package, you're going to get this beautiful um, scalloped edge die. And this is- Play it flat and spin it, will you please? Because your spinner just didn't do, when it's, when it's standing straight, it doesn't spin like it. You know what I mean? Well, the gravity. well, well it's also because I'm spin. working backwards. I will in a minute. So the red scalloped edge is in this die set and you can see it's been sized perfectly for the A2 card. So this is a beautiful thing to have. I use it often. Then there's, the circle is in there and that circle also has a stitched and scalloped edge. So this also has a stitched, get that up there so you can see it, stitched and scalloped, stitch and scallop, okay? Very beautiful little pieces to work with. Then you have the, I call this the bezel die, and it fits perfectly over the stamped image. So to make the card, you stamp this on white cardstock or whatever color you want, 
you put the bezel on top and you die cut it and it's going to cut the hole perfect for you and center it for. Where did you get the word bezel? I don't know. I, really? Are you going to make, pull are, that, I, you just pull that out I've here? been calling it a bezel for a long time. A what do you call it? A bezel. What is the definition of bezel? I don't I've have any that. idea. In this die set is the Santa outline die that goes with the Christmas stamp. So if you buy the Christmas stamp, this is the matching die for it. It's included in the set. And then there's an arrow. So if you want to use an arrow, you've got an arrow there. So that's what comes in the basic die set. The great thing about the basic die set is that it, that little scallop is in there. And that is a little sweet piece of uh, a sweet die to own. Now, when I made the set, I made a coordinating sentiment set for it called um, Just For You. And it is a two piece die set and it's included in the bundle tonight. If you don't need the bundle, if you don't wanna buy the bundle and you wanna buy the products individually, you can, you can go to our blog, www.creekbankcreations.blogspot.com. Look for the spin to win blog post and all the products are listed there with direct links to um, our website. If you use the code rainbow, you're gonna save, what did they save? <laughs> Oh, they're going to save. Uh, they're going. You're going to save big money. I just can't. I can't. No, no, no. Cents. The rain, the coupon code. Oh, fifteen percent. Fifteen percent. Did you tell the right name? It's rainbow. Rainbow. If they use sunshine, it won't work. Ra rainbow. rainbow. And orders over fifty dollars ship free. Sorry, little brain glitch there. Okay, so um, d did you talk about the the three stamps? Three stamps. The um, Christmas, birthday and Halloween, okay? I tried to put text on these stamps so that when you um, buy them, you have text, you know, you're gonna put your stamp, your bezel that Mr. Creek is making fun of on the outside. And then I tried to add text on all of the stamps so that you have text to put on the inside of your card. So on our Christmas card that we're doing tonight, I have the just for fun across the bottom, but on the inside, I have the um, text that's on the stamp, have a very Merry Christmas. So there should be enough, hopefully you can get enough um, sentiments on there to do the outside and the inside. What is really fun is the Halloween stamp, which um, we aren't doing tonight but it's super fun. This is actually my favorite one. Now, now explain to him on the Halloween stamp. The stamp is not just Halloween. Excuse me, I was Mr. Creek. Yes. That's what I was doing. Okay, okay just. <laughs> so this is Halloween. What I love about this is it has all this other text on it and I did this on purpose. It says, because you are so sweet, you get sweeter every year. Um, Hope your Halloween is extra sweet. Happy Halloween. So there are four sentiments on there. So you don't have to make it as a Halloween card. A, some people don't do Halloween. And B, I wanted it to be versatile. So if you can only afford to get one of these, if you use, if you get the Halloween set, it has, um, it has, um, versatility. Mr. Creek, I see lots of comments on there and I don't have time to read them. Could okay. you, um. Could you pay attention to what you're supposed to be doing? He's still trying to find bezel. So if anyone has the bezel, I'm going to reset my thing here so I can see the feed on my, there we go. Okay. So um, just wanted to show you this card. You can also put other things on top of the, um, a bezel is a ring holding an instrument in position. Well, sort of. Uh, I've got the Webster's definition here. It <laughs> says a ring that holds a transparent covering as a watch clock or headlight. Well, or that it's, is it's round. And has special markings. So okay, it's rotatable. This All is... Right. All right, I'll give you the bezel. I'll give you the bezel. Okay. okay, here's the deal. I'm like really creative. And sometimes I'm not good at spelling. And math is really not a very good quality <laughs> that I have. Sometimes you're not And um, so <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Greek has to cover me. Upside down. This is upside down? <gasps> Thank you. 
you know, Be Beverly, it's all about the details, isn't it? It's, okay. That so bezel getting in the it's way. that okay. bezel getting in the way. So um, this is Mr. Dweedle and you can see um, you can just tra change him around. So the die set comes with an arrow and a Santa, but you can get creative with what you stick on him and you can do all kinds of cool things with him. Any questions or comments before the camera is going down? Down or down or down. Any questions, Thomas? Uh, no. Okay. Charles is upside down. You go, girl. Yes. Uh, and Julie knows. And um, Julie is always right. Julie is not always right. Let me tell you, Julie I, is not always right. I, the bezel. I, one of the problems with this business is Julie, <laughs> because I name things. Sometimes the same product has three names. Yeah, and when I try so, to fill an and order. poor oh, Mr. Oh. Creek is trying to fill orders and calling me and. No, there doesn't need to be marriage counseling. We've already done that. The marriage counselor retired. I'm going to turn, <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera down. Here we go. We're going down. So spin to win is a fun card to make for the kids. So if you have kids in your life, this is a great one. How's that look? Where, where's all that black coming from? Just for you. Am I too tall? Tell me yes or no. I'm going down. See your lap. Ooh, you're looking good. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right Don't there. Don't move. Thank you, Kathy. Who is the FR Rita? Is that Rita? Florida. She's from Florida. Florida. Okay, we got that black. Guys, I am trying to get better at this. You're wobbling. I'm trying to get better at it. Tighten up here. I need to go that way. No, the other there way. we go. There it is. Got that black thing. You want to move the camera back? I want that black thing out of the picture. Does the black thing annoy you guys? Just tighten up your thing and then you can adjust your card accordingly. Here. Tighten up your thing. Tighten up the stand. Sorry, guys. I keep thinking that someday I'll be better at this okay. part. There you go. Right there. Oh, okay, that, we still have the back. black right thing. Right Does the black Don't thing annoy you Don't guys? About the black thing. Just move the card up and to the right. To your right. Up. <laughs> Towards the black thing. Towards the black thing. There oh, my go. gosh. You're on the money. Amateur hunt. hour. On okay. Money, Woo. Okay, we have the black mark in there, but oh, you can't see the black thing. Worry, I'm so good. I can see the black. All right, thing. Don't worry about all right. Someday I'll be better at this. I, I but I am making an effort. Do I get an E for effort? E. Give me a big E. Okay, so Tom wanted me to spin that so you guys could really see how that spins, and it really does spin. So let's get going and make this fun card. So, oh my goodness, I have forgot. At the, oh, Thomas Edwin. I'm gonna need red cardstock. The red pieces that we cut are not here. So um, there was total chaos in my, you can walk fast. <laughs> in my office at home today, I have actually two desks that sit side by side and um, they were absolutely covered with um, paper arts goodness. And I walked out without things that I need. So hang on here. I've got some paper arts goodness here for you. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to take some red cardstock. We're going to take that mini scallop die, and we're going to die cut that. So tonight I have the Vagabond here. I like to try to have this stuff cut for you guys ahead of time. And there are, they are cut at home, which doesn't help us. There's our mini scallop. And you can see that pretty little scallop fits beautifully on our A2 card. So there's our card. I'm going to fold that. And it is going to cut that little scallop. And it's going to stitch that little edge. Oh, so pretty. So let's adhere that with some super tacky Is that a 5x7 or tape. an A2 card? This app? is an A2 card, and this is all sized to fit the A2 card. 
So I'm going to add some super tacky tape. We're going to adhere that to our background. Now, earlier when I was at home working on this card, I was short shortcutting all this tape and I did not put tape all the way around. And I'm going to put, this is our plaid paper from the tractor paper pad set. And I cut that with our stitch die and it's the second largest stitch die. So when I made the card at home, I was not using as much adhesive. I only had adhesive on the top and bottom. And when I was spinning the card, it started warping on me. So you really do need tape all the way around. You don't have to use that much, but um, putting tape all the way around is really gonna help. So if you don't use the stitch die to cut the red plaid, then um, you can just cut a rectangle. Oh my goodness, I'm almost too big. I, I am running on crazy tonight. Let me trim it, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little large. The trick is trimming it when it has adhesive on the back. <laughs> Whoa! Here we're getting some lip balm. Yeah, I need lip balm. I do. That's so funny. Okay, we were a little long. I don't know. I must have cut it with the wrong die. We're on a roll. It's still a little long, but y'all know what That's I mean. What the paper for. Well, um, the paper trimmer's not really cooperating either. There we go. I don't like that either. Okay, let's see if this one's. Nope, I cut them with the wrong die. We're on a roll. Okay, we've got our plaid. We're going to adhere that to our card base. I'm going to pull that off, pull our tape off. We're going to set that on our card. Now, remember, if we hold our card opposite corners and we line up these two corners, then we'll know that the other two corners are aligned perfectly. Now I previously stamped the sentiment on the inside of our card, so we have that already done. Now we are using a green bezel. This round thing, um, scallop on the background, and I did manage to die cut that ahead no, of time. You used the bezel to cut the circle, Mrs. Creek. And right? um, isn't that true? Yes, it, it, yes, Mr. Creek. Are you the attorney now? No. Um, so that's ready to go there. So what we need to do is work on our actual stamped image. So I have previously stamped the sentiment for us. And I want to show you how this die works. You're going to take the die. And when I put this on, I this line that runs across the middle is only holding the circle in place. It is not going to die cut. So I try to set that up so that when I die cut with it, I have that line right on one of the lines of the stamped image. Now we're gonna die cut this. And one of the things I wanted to share with you tonight is my normal cutting stack, I'm using the Sizzix Vagabond, but this principle would apply to the um, other Sizzix machines, is the magnetic plate, the precision base plate, and one clear. That is the tightest stack there is, but if I want to cut something and I don't want to be pushing that fold line way down into my paper, then I'm going to go back to my standard configuration and I'm going to cut with the standard configuration. So I'm going to get out my original plate and I'm going to die cut with it because it's going to have enough pressure to die cut, but it's going to not push it down as deep. Into the paper. Using, Mrs. Creek? I, I said twice. Yeah. I'm cutting with the vagabond tonight. The vagabond yes. too. The which, vagabond too special. which Tom has on special. The Is there any minutes. questions about those cutting platforms? Okay, we're gonna use I'm gonna use the undo to remove that tape so it doesn't tear up my card front, and then I'll have my little bezel piece. Any questions? can't see the card. Move closer to the black thing. Okay. All right. There you go. 
You got to watch. Are you watching yes, what they're I saying? Yes, closer you, to the black. Okay. Button. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to, when this die cuts, it's going to cut that perfect circle for us. And it's going to cut out the perfect size hole. Then we're going to take our package of slide guides. And we're going to open those up. And we want one male and one female. Can you hand me, Tom, the actual package of slide guides you have over there? Yeah. And are you giving one of those away tonight? Yes, there's plenty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the slide guides. I um, came out with these because I wanted to have the ability to slide things in a car, in a card. And everyone else uses like a washer or, or a penny. And these are lightweight and they, they click together. So slide guide. We're going to take our slide guide. And we're going to put the female down. We're going to put that die cut piece over the top. And we're going to click the top on. And I'm going to quit talking because I want you to hear this click. There we go. Now, when you put it on there, you're going to see it's loose and it wobbles. And it needs to be, <coughs> it needs to be loose and wobbly because that's why it spins. Towards the black platform, this is creepy. Thank you. Keep telling me. Okay. Right there. So we're going to turn that over and we're going to take our foam tape and we're going to run foam tape all the way around the back. Now, I like to take the foam tape and get about 12 inches of tape. So I'm using the white foam tape. And so I'm going to get about 12 inches of it, pull it off. And then I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm going to get the adhesive off of them. This is how I like to do the bezel on the card and get some undo on those scissors. Okay. And then go into your tape. And what you want to do is just snip that tape all the way around. I'm probably hitting it about, oh, every inch or so. Just giving it a little click, 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 because that's going to give us the ability to get that foam to sit. It looks in. like you're cutting it every quarter. You might, oh, it, it might, it, it might. I don't know, Thomas. I'm not, you know, me and numbers. <laughs> yeah, I think you did about every quarter inch. If you, okay, every quarter inch. If your scissors start sticking, um, just put more undo on them. Okay, now we've got a nice cut edge all the way down. So we're going to take our stamped piece. We're going to set it down. Diane Morris asked a, a question. Could okay. We, could we use the new foam and die cut? O-M-M-M-M-M. Smarty pants. Well, grab, a, grab a piece and you can test it. Um, yeah, let's do. Diane, that's a great question. Um, so we came out with... Do you have some already open or not? No, I, I took it home. We came out with double-sided foam that you can die cut. And so it's six by eight sheets. And I, I really, I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to mess with it very much. So that is a great question. We'll, we'll have Tom, Tom go get it and we'll try. Now we're going to, I like to put that in there so that meets... Get you going in the right spot here. Okay, all the way around. And then with the pieces that I have left, and I put that cut edge, that edge that I snipped all the way around, I put that on the outside. And then I like to put a piece, put whatever's left on the inside. And that just supports it. What we want to do, Thomas, is cut this little baby. So we're going to take this and we'll do a little test. And we're gonna cut into the red side. Red, mm -hmm. let me show them, right into here. the red side. So you're gonna put red side up and you're gonna put the die on it and you're gonna die cut. And let's see what happens. We have never done it before. This is the test of the die cutting system. It's, it's, it's not gonna be, it's gonna be the same diameter as your die. It won't matter. Try it, Mr. Creek. Try it, baby. Okay, Mr. Creek is trying it. I'm going to take the red liner off and we will pull that off. So we have sticky goodness. Do you have the right shim configuration? Oh, I use whatever you put down there. Okay. 
Get our edge there, get it going. Okay, so Tom has his piece cut. I'm going to turn my piece over and I'm going to attach it to the center of that green scalloped piece. Okay. Cut, but so what are we gonna do? Okay. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take so here's what we have. We have this piece cut, it pops out the center. You have a nice solid piece there. That's good. So here's what we do. Let's cut another one. You're gonna have too much friction for your slide cut. Well, let's find out. Yeah. Let's find out. We're just experimenting tonight. You going to cut that while you're working with the curve? Um, can you do it? I Mrs. Creek, can I do it? Okay, I'm gonna have Tom cut another one of these. And, um, what do you think they call me the crafting the cowboy? Cow right there, baby. So you're going to tape it in place? Now, do you think, Tom, I should take my scissors and, and cut that hole out larger? Just trim that hole out? Uh, it depends on how thick the slide guide is. Well, I think. So if we use the foam like this, the foam sheet, we don't have to deal with the foam tape, which is kind of cool. So we'll get our slide guides here. And I think it's going to be, hmm, I don't know. Do I have male and female? I think it's going to be too thick because I don't think it'll spin because mm, if you have friction on it. Look, yeah. it's too thick. That's what I thought. It's too thick. So the foam is um, a little bit thicker. We had to make it a little bit thicker because it's really designed for shaker box window and it needed to be a little thicker. So there's no need to cut so that. So the experiment. So this this experiment, experiment is a failure. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a really nice foam circle. But we always appreciate comments <laughs> no, from the it, gallery. If it would have worked, could, if it would have worked, that would have been awesome. We had a, we would have had a new. Concept. Okay, so Diane, thank you for your input. And there we go. Question. We've got our piece on there. Put the shiny thing on the paper first, and then oh, you're gonna have to go read the comments. How about another smaller circle? So um, the problem is, guys, that the foam is too thick. The um, but maybe if we cut this circle, a, a larger let circle. me see if we cut this out. See, teamwork is a good thing. You need to read what the ladies are saying, so I see what they're. I can't read them all. We're gonna cut this out. Make that circle a little bigger. Put the spinny thing on the paper first and then put the paper yes. on the Yes. Yep. Who and said that? You're going to have friction. Who said that? Michelle Crick. Michelle might have it. Michelle Creek? Crick. Crick. Is her name really Creek? Crick. A Crick is listening to a Creek. That's right. Okay. So I'm going to try this. I dug out my center so that it's a little bit bigger. I'm going to remove the red liner. We're going to put the stamped image on it. Remember, the issue you have with the slide yes, guide. Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware. Creek. I'm aware, Mr. Creek. So <laughs> I'm going to get this wet. And now, then you go back to, are you going to take all your foam and cut that to that? So. Well, these ladies don't make 40 cards. Like, when we make cards, we make 400 cards. They don't make 400 cards. They make one or two. Pull that off. Got them. Okay, now... And yes. Undo is your friend, Michelle. We're going to put that slide guide down. And I probably should have left the liner on. <laughs> and I think, Houston, that we have ignition. Ignition? I think we do. I got to put it on a piece of paper. I think it would be better. Extra to green scallop that I have here. Sticking it down. Boy, it gives you an absolutely beautiful finish for sure. Okay, when we go to put our Santa on, I um, stamp and color it. And I have, when I die cut this, I have my super tacky tape on the back. I have a great question. Let me get a minute. Okay, go. Is there a way to use the spinner clips 
the, the slide guys. Yes. On the angel circle die, for example, if you use the Thanksgiving pie, is there a way to make it spin on the card die? Who's asking that question? Teresa Donga asked that question. Oh, that is a great question. Um, Teresa, I think you could cut this on just regular white cardstock. And then attach the, there's a way to do it. Cause I made a love card that spins. Can you write that down? We need to do a video. Sure. That'll be a cool video. That is a great idea. Yes, it's possible. <coughs> and we will do a video. We might the, do that next week. The spinning pie card. The spinning pie. And, and who, and who does it? Said she doesn't make one or two cards. She makes 200. Oh, cards. goodness, Vonda. I made something last Christmas and about the same this fall. Okay, well, I would suggest you not. a high production card. Not do this. <laughs> and so is Michelle Crick. She made about 200. Cards. Wow. That's about 700 total this year. So the um, Miracle of Christmas stamp I designed specifically for you high output people because it's easy to color and put together. So... You, you ladies that are doing high output, um, check out the other things. Mo most of the time, if I'm doing a spinner card like this, I'm not making 20 of them. I'm making one or two. And Cindy makes a lot of cards, too. They're, they're right, dying a lot. lot of they're di on one or two cards. Okay, here. no more of that talk. We all, around here, we make 40 of everything. <laughs> okay, so what I have is my Santa... He has super tacky tape on the back, and I die cut him. Then I cut another Santa off of our heavy 110 cardstock. Okay, but what if you don't have the die cut sheets? Are you going to show them how to use the foam tape? Or did you already show them that? Yes, Tom. The original project that we did. did you already show this them is that? why Diane asked. Could did you already we? Show them that? Yes. So me, Mr. yes, Mr. Creek was obviously not paying attention. Christine does 35, Romaine did 150 Christmas cards. Wow. Yeah, see five you could manage. Okay, we're gonna put our Santa on that heavyweight cardstock. And I'm not going to use undo because I'm pretty sure I can get him on there. But if you thought you were not going to get him straight, you could put a little bit of undo on there. And then you could have time to get that to sit exactly where you want it. So there's my little Santa guy. And I'm going to do two of them because I want to, I'm going to check out. This is my full sheet of foam. This is my foam tape. So he's going here. We're going to do another one. And there. Now, the reason I cut the extra piece is because when you're giving this card the finger all the time, it needs the stability. <laughs> the finger? Yes. It needs the stability of having that extra piece of paper in there. So um, I just think uh, it helps if you add an extra little layer of protection because everyone's going to want to touch it and flip it. Give it the finger. Okay, we're ready to put our guys on. So we're going to take our glue dot and we're using um, the mini glue dot. And when you use the mini glue dots, they come with the sheet of paper and then you have the clear sheet. So the proper way to use them is to pull off the paper and throw the paper away. Take the clear sheet directly to the slide guide and pull it off. And your little glue dot should stick right on there. Now, if you have glue dots that are not releasing from the master sheet, it's because they're old and you need to replace them. This is Julie speaking from experience. They do tend to dry out. So if they start driving you nuts because they don't want to come off the sheet, then you need to get um, glue dots. And I would recommend don't buy the mega pack. Just buy the regular pack because they'll end up drying out before you get them used. So this is my full sheet of foam. Unless you're doing 200 or well, yeah, if you're using them all. I just don't go through that many. So that's the full sheet of foam, and he spins. I'm going to pull him off and look at him again. Here's the, whoops, here's the other one, and you can see how much better he spins. So let's take this one apart. I'm going to flip it over, and we're going to do a little investigating and see what's going on and see if we can solve that problem. The tape spins. Yes, the foam tape spins. So I think my problem is I just didn't get that foam cut. I was thinking you didn't get the hole big enough. Either. The hole's not big enough. 
see if I can. Sarah suggested putting some powder in there to keep it from sticking. Yeah, I don't think it's, I think I, it's just bad cutting on my part. <laughs> Trying to be in a hurry. And you know what you could do is take a circle die mm -hmm. and die cut it again. Cut it out the size of a quarter. Yeah, and uh, that would do it. Let me see if I can do some fancy trimming is that here. A circle punch? It, circle. I don't think you can get that in a circle punch. I might have to operate on this home and come back next week and talk to you about it. Let's see what happens now. So we're going to stick that down. Ha ha! There's your answer. What a good question. So it did work. You just got to get that circle cut out deep enough so that you can um, get it to sit exactly. So those are the six by eight foam sheets. Do we know what the price the price of like can can you hand me that package? I don't have a price so okay, I don't have a link for that in our blog. But um, they're six by eight foam sheets. How many are in a package, Tom? There are six of them. Six in a package. And when you die cut that, you want to die cut down into the red side. We're going to add our super tacky tape to the back of our spinner. Do you have a question, Thomas? Let's well, do a I'm question. Getting, I, mean, I, was just, I was getting that price for you. Okay. Stick that down. Yes, Judy, we have done the spin to win make and take all over the country. And usually when we do it in a make and take, we gave you three uh, pieces of chipboard and we cut the chipboard, had you cut the center out because I knew that we couldn't use foam and get it done in time with you guys cutting and trimming foam tape. So we're gonna put that right on the front of our card Got our bezel going there. Got some paper fibers. Seven ninety nine for six six by eight foam sheets. Seven ninety nine for six six by eight foam sheets. So fun. Okay, so the just for okay. Do you have a question, Thomas? Uh, yes. Because uh, I'm about done. Oh yes. Okay. This is a hard one. Are you ready, ladies? Crafters, not just ladies, but crafters. Okay. Seventeen years ago, Julie and I. We're running Creek Bay Creations and it introduced a new line of products at the time that was cut from Basil Basics cardstock. Oh my gosh. In their primary colors. And we sold it all over the world. Okay, if you can name the name of that Creek Bay Creations line, not only, that is such a hard question, not only am I going to give you this. Sussex 3D embossing holder. I'm also going to throw in a Creek Bank Creations apron. So, what was the name of the line of products that we made that was cut from Basil Basics cardstock? A thousand cards. Oh, the name of this is Spin to Win. So, there's a Spin to Win die, and there is a. Holy oh! cow! <laughs> I can't believe it! I cannot believe it! That's exactly right, Michelle Hawk. Do you know it. who that is? Yeah. Yes. I didn't know she was watching. <laughs> That's funny. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> Michelle. I think it's Hake. Hake is the winner. I didn't expect anybody to, to be able to go back that far. So, Michelle, you'll have to uh, private message me your address. Did anybody else know? Okay. Let's uh, see if anybody else knew. I don't have any other guesses. I have Paperkins, uh, J. Brown. Oh, they said they couldn't really help hear you. Was that? Yes, Don, that was the small file folders, and there were tabs and oh they said you were all muffled so you're gonna have to come over here to do the next question tom okay go ahead and do it now okay. next question because we're question. we're about done this is for a pack tom's coming over okay let me finish and then you can come over okay. well i can do it right here okay and this then is, run back over this is for a package of slide guides okay okay all right in the 19 wait 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 can you guys hear 
Can you say yes or no if you can hear? Can you hear me? There we go. Okay. Okay. In the 1960s television sitcom, The Monsters. Tell me the name. The Monsters? The Monsters. Monsters. The Monsters. Okay. M-U-N-S-T-E-R-S. Okay. The Monsters. They lived at 1313 Mockingbird Lane, if you remember. What was the name of the youngest character in the family, The Monsters? The name of the youngest character in the family, The Monsters. I think you've already got a winner there. Oh my goodness, I do. I that do. was fast. Wanda M. Wanda's rocking Wanda it. Wanda M is the, is the winner. Yeah. Wanda. How did they remember that? Okay, let's finish our card off. I have added just for you that I die cut and you can see that fits on there perfectly. I had super tacky tape on the back. We're gonna peel that off, put our super tacky tape right there and add our sentiment. And y'all, if y'all are making that many cards, you're like in the card crafting hall of fame. That's amazing. Okay, this die cut, when you die cut, if you have any of those crazy hairs hanging off, just use your embelly jelly to pull that off and clean it up. Now I've got one hair stuck underneath. Wait, what? One hair. I call them hairs. I don't know what they're paper fibers actually. Is that what the desk clerk was mad about? Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I don't have lipstick all over my face today. That's so funny. Okay. There we go. So we have a really fun card you can give and whoops. Have a very Merry Christmas. I'm gonna pull the camera up. Does anybody have any questions about anything? I'm um, looking. Okay. Eddie Wolfgang Monster. Yes. Uh, Coming up. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Here. Anybody have any questions about uh, anything? FL Crafty Girl. I need to buy Embellient Jelly. Yes, it's, we actually call it Embelly Jelly. Embelly. You your search. Embelly Jelly. It's the links are in the blog post. Any questions? Let's see. Can someone tell me where I can find this card? Which card? You should be referring to. Uh, who's, oh, who's tell, asking tell about the special then? Uh, tell. Uh, so VPN. if you came in later VPN. in the in the program in the program, um, we are working with Spin to Win, and if you go to our blog, Tom, can you type that in the in the chat? It doesn't pick up. www.creekbankcreations.blogspot.com and look for spin to win the card. Um, it's today's blog post. And whenever we do a live, we have a blog post that matches and the blog post has complete pictures and links. So you can literally just click on the things you want. But again, it's www.creekbankcreations.blogspot.com blogspot.com is that correct yes it is so the spin to win die package looks like this and it has your basic die in your bezel and i have it right here then i got it we have three stamps to match okay but the special includes two stamps and the i'm like i'm just going to talk and then i'm gonna let you wrap up okay okay so if you buy them separately they are 15% um, off if you use the code RAINBOW. And if you order over $50, Mr. Creek is going to ship for free. Then um, there's a bundle special that Tom's going to tell you about, except for he, <laughs> he ran out of the room. So the bundle special is the die, the happy birthday stamp. No, it's not the happy birthday stamp. I'm sorry. It's, it's not. It's I'm, I'm retiring now. It's right here, dear. Here, you come tell them. Okay. You do it. Okay. Thank you so much for hanging with us tonight. I will look forward to seeing y'all on Tuesday, next Tuesday. I'm going to let Tom wrap up and um, tell you about the special. Okay. Special. If I'm being redundant to you, ladies, I apologize. Just for those of you who didn't get this, this is with the bundle special. You get the spin to wind die. You get the uh, happy Halloween plus you are sweetest sentiment die. You get the Merry Christmas, excuse me, I said die. I meant stamp. The Merry Christmas stamp. The just for you die, which is a two piece die. And a package of slide guides. That is 
a da, 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 $58.95 value, but you're going to save $16.96 for a total of price, sale price of $41.99. $58.95 worth of product for $41.99. If you spend $50 or more, you get free freight. So with that, we're finished tonight. May the Lord keep you and bless you all. We're glad you joined us. We appreciate it. We had a lot of fun with you tonight as usual. And can't wait to see, to see you again next Tuesday at 7.30 Eastern time right here. Same time, same place, same station. Hold on. Pat's saying is the Santa die supper. So can you go over what's in that die? Okay, okay. let's look at the die. Okay. So in Thank the you. die packet, Santa, or Santa, Santa, I mean, excuse me, Pat, you're not Santa. You get both an arrow that spins and you get a Santa that spins. Now, we did a card here where we actually took the dweedle and made a spinning dweedle, you know, with our dweedle die and stamp. Some of you may already have that, so it's another, another add-on that you can do with that. But yes, it comes with both the Santa and the arrow, the scalloped ring, the bezel, as Mrs. Creek calls it, the bezel die, and the scalloped stitch square, all in one die pack. Uh, and then the Just For You die, has the sentiment just for you as well as the shadow around it. So with that, we're going to sign off. See you next Tuesday at 730. Lord keep you and bless you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Have a great evening. Bye.